What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Lucy, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Now, last week, we got word, or this week that just passed, we got word that Saul Canelo Alvarez was parting ways from the Premier Boxing Champions, right? Because he was offered a few fights that had to include David, the Mexican Ecuadorian monster Benavidez. Right? So, in order for Canelo Alvarez to receive the guaranteed purse that Canelo Alvarez is looking to get, it, been, it was reported that Al Heyman of the pre Premier Boxing Champion. Founding advisor, Al Heyman, offered Canelo Alvarez the fights that he wants, which is Jamal Charlo or Jaime Munguia. But he could take the Jaime Munguia fight, right? Take the Jaime Munguia fight, get his guaranteed purse of $35 million, and then possibly have a choice of his pick later on he already fights on two traditional dates he already historically does that Cinco de Mayo weekend first weekend in May Mexican Independence Day weekend second weekend in September which this year happens to fall on May 4th and then September 14th so he's looking for a massive guaranteed purse right so Al Heyman is saying we partner up with Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, for Jaime Munguia and get your guaranteed purse of $35 million. But if you insist on fighting Jamal Charlo, now keep in mind, he signed a three-fight deal with the PBC. He satisfied only one fight, September 30th, against Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo's identical twin brother. So if you insist on fighting Jamal Charlo, May 4th, we'll guarantee you your purse but it has to include fighting David Benavidez in September. Now, keep this in mind. The original deal, the three fight deal, did not include David Benavidez as we knew, right? He wasn't part of the deal because Canelo Alvarez, his two time well renowned trainer and manager, Eddie Reynoso, a future Hall of Famer, says that they have to carefully and strategically choose his next opponent because Canelo Alvarez is on the tail end of his career at 33 years of age. Now, he has had some sh shoulder surgeries, hand surgeries, and knee surgeries, so that could play a part in it. He's 60 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout, and he's the undisputed uh, super middleweight champion. He's the undisputed face of the sport of boxing, right? So, David Benavidez is not part of the plan when he signed the three-fight deal. But keep in mind, when he signed the three-fight deal, the PBC was with Showtime. Okay, President of Sports Steven Espinosa, and they had a different type of budget. Now that Showtime decided to get out the business of the sport of boxing after 37 years and sweep the rug right under Al Heyman's feet and the PBC feet, they had to take their brand over to Amazon Prime, which is the structure seems to not be the same as it was with Showtime as far as the guaranteed purses. So they don't have the money to burn. So they're telling him in order to recoup this money that we are willing to put out, you have to fight the fights that we need you to fight. Initially, your deal was to fight whomever you so choose. And we was okay with that because we had the budget to do it. Now things change. We need you to fight and commit to a David Benavidez fight. David Benavidez came out. He said that they structured a deal that would see Canelo Alvarez get a guaranteed purse of $60 million with himself only getting a guaranteed purse of $5 million. And that Canelo Alvarez would far exceed the $60 million on the back end with the pay-per-views, right? And David Benavidez said that Canelo Alvarez turned that down. He don't want to fight. He just simply don't want to fight. And Al Heyman was saying, we'll guarantee you the $35 million to fight Jamal Charlo but you got to fight David Benavidez in September. Canelo Alvarez turned it down. Everybody, they blame Canelo Alvarez. And I told you guys, we have to point the finger at the powers that be because they 
give Canelo Alvarez the power to to be available or to not be available to fight the fights that we want to see and to fight David Benavidez. They made it okay. Okay? They uh, um, enable Canelo Alvarez and allow him to do what he's doing. That's where the blame needs to be placed. Because why? The PBC signed the three-fight deal knowing Canelo Alvarez had no interest in fighting David Benavidez. But on the flip side, know that that's the fight that the world the public and the fans want to see or demanding to see and knowing David Benavidez who's loyal to the PBC and is a two-time WBC super middleweight undefeated world champion and is the mandatory and has been patiently waiting his opportunity they still signed Canelo Alvarez as long as he brought in the revenue that they wanted and the acknowledgement that he brings and the attention to their brand it wasn't about David Benavidez it's never been that's the business, right? They solely cared about that. But when things changed with Showtime, now they offered up David Benavidez. They demanded that he fight David Benavidez because the money changed, right? So it was said that everybody was jumping up for joy and they was Canelo Alvarez. It's Canelo Alvarez's fault. And I said, no, you got to blame the PBC because they signed this deal knowing he had no interest in fighting David Benavidez. And they already had David Benavidez who's loyal to them. And they know the fans want to see him fight David Benavidez. Yet they enabled him. And they was okay with doing that as long as they had the budget. Well, everybody said, no, it's about Canelo ducking David Benavidez. It's about Canelo ducking David Benavidez. So Al Heyman gave him the boot. Al Heyman gave Canelo Alvarez the boot. Fight David Benavidez or kick rocks. That's what y'all said. Fight David Benavidez or kick rocks. That's what y'all said. Now we got to make this make sense, people. Now it's time to make this make sense, okay? Because now, Canelo Alvarez left, attempted to make a deal with the zone again, with Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn, Oscar De La Hoya, and the zone to fight the likes of Edgar Berlinga or Jaime Monguia, right? Over with the zone. But the zone stood their ground and they said, no, we're not going to give you this massive guaranteed purse that you're seeking out to fight those fights. That's not going to happen. So it left Canelo Alvarez a man without a land. So he came back to the PBC and reportedly they welcomed him with open arms to make the fight happen with Jaime Munguia. And people are cheering, high fiving and chest bumping, but they're not paying attention. So, everybody's chairman saying, Oscar don't even have nothing to do with it. So now, ask yourself this question. Oscar doesn't have anything to do with it. Canelo's coming back over to fight Jaime Munguia on Amazon Prime with the PBC. You think Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions aren't going to get a cut of that? They had to agree to that. To allow Canelo, uh, Jaime Munguia to come over there. Now, Canelo's the A-side. So he, you know, is they will go to Amazon Prime because Canelo's the A-side with Amazon Prime. Oscar said that the Jaime Munguia fight wasn't going to happen in May. No way, no chance. Because he said, who's going to put up this guaranteed purse? So now the PBC is going to put up the guaranteed purse. But the question is, now one of two things has to be exposed. Either they're doing this and going back to the original agreement to give him the money to fight Jaime Munguia and let Oscar De La Hoya and them have to help pick up the tab for the Jaime Munguia fight. And they feel like, as they said that Al Heyman stated, the Jaime Munguia fight is a bigger fight than the Jamal Charlo fight. So they can get a return on their investment. A bigger, they're planning on getting a bigger return on their investment. So they're going to do that. Now, one of two things has to be true, people. Uh-oh. You can't have it both ways. If that's the case, then did Canelo Alvarez still duck David Benavidez? Or did he agree to fight David Benavidez in September? Because the narrative was that Al Heyman gave him an ultimatum and said, fight David Benavidez or kick rocks. So now, is he agreeing to fight David Benavidez? Now that he's coming back? Or are they agreeing to the Jaime Munguia fight and the Jamal Charlo fight in September. 
just role reversed. So is David Benavidez a part of the deal? Because now we can't say Canelo Alvarez is ducking him. Now you got to take back what you said. Because if he came back and he said that, okay, I agree to fight Jaime Mugui over here and I agree to fight David Benavidez, is that what Canelo Alvarez did? Did he agree to fight David Benavidez in September? Or did they agree to just do a deal, right, for Jaime Munguia, which is a big fight that they, they was originally planning to do, and then allow Canelo Alvarez to fight who he wants in September again? Because it's a three-fight deal, so he got two fights. So this Jaime Munguia fight would be satisfying the second fight. He only got one more fight, which would be in September. So did he just agree to fight David Benavidez? Did he? Or did he not? Because they're getting ready to, again, enable him, right? Did they just do this deal knowing he's not going to fight David Benavides in September, but they get what they want as long as he have a, fight, a big fight with Jaime Mugia on their platform because the zone won't do it? Or did he not agree to Which one is it? Because the narrative was that Al Heyman told him, fight David Benavidez or kick rocks. That's what y'all said. We place blame on Canelo Alvarez. Okay, so did Al Heyman now say, okay, we'll accept you not fighting David Benavidez? Because his fight is in June at 175. Does he plan on coming back down to 168? Or he just got fed up, threw his hands up in the air and said, whatever, it ain't happening. Because we saw Jose Benavidez Sr., father, trainer, and manager of David Benavidez say that Al Heyman's getting desperate that's why he's offering up the Canelo Alvarez Benavidez fight now. But it was ne never originally part of the deal. Now he's willing to do it because their back is against the wall and the situation has changed, the circumstances. So now did Canelo agree to David Benavidez fight in September or did they go the route of just going to enable him and give him what he want anyway? Because see, y'all can't have it both ways. Did he tell Canelo to kick rocks if you don't fight Benavidez or did he not? Which one is it? I like the Jaime Munguia fight in May, nine weeks away now. Uh, and I truly believe that it's unfortunate for David Benavidez. He's getting the short end of the stick. He's getting the shaft, period. And it's un truly, truly unfortunate. Now, he says he's going to pave out his own career. He's not even worrying about Canelo anymore. But it's still truly, truly unfortunate. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.